Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, uh, for the uh, introduction. Let me firstly extend greetings to the uh, NSTF Chair, uh, Professor Ali uh, Danse, Ambassador and Diplomatic Corps, Executive Committee and members of the National uh, Science and Technology Forum, Executive Directors of the National Science Technology Forum, Mr. John C. Niehaus, uh, South 32 C Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Mike Fraser, Chairman of the National uh, Science and Technology Forum Adjudication Panel, Mr. Dennis Hunt, Vice Chancellors of Universities, Heads of Science Councils and Professional Bodies, and all the sponsors, finalists, funders and finalists, members of the media, the Mail and Guardian and Business Report newspapers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is really an honor uh, to, on behalf of the minister, deliver this address to the National Science Technology Forum South 32 Awards event, celebrated under the theme International Year of uh, Plant Health and on the occasion of the NSTF 25th anniversary. These awards, I'm told, takes place in South Africa with the rest of the world battles with COVID-19. The pandemic has altered society and negatively impacted economic activity globally. South Africans have been forced to change their behavior and adapt to deep systemic changes in order to keep themselves and the country safe. As a department, we've been mobilizing across the national, uh, uh, okay, as, as a department, we've been mobilizing around, I mean, mobilizing across the national science innovation, especially amongst its entities and the entities of sister departments, specific initiatives that are currently being fast-tracked to support the government's response to the COVID-19 crisis. These initiatives included the following, deploying DSI-funded infrastructure to expand testing to COVID-19, biomanufacturing, molecular biology enzymes, reagents and testing kits, development of personal protective equipment, uh, supporting good hygiene practice, coordinating efforts for a local COVID-19 vaccine manufacturing plant, and the technical support of the National Ventilator Project. As a department, we continue to work with our counterparts of all spheres, in all our spheres of government, in our continent, to ensure convergence of our technological advances and innovation. Convergence is, an essential, is as essential to our future knowledge society as to internal combustion engine was to the second industrial revolution. It is for this reason that I, re that I commend the president's visionary leadership for realigning the Department of Higher Education and Training and the Department of Science and Technology under a single ministry. The main reason is not simply to ensure greater administrative efficiency, cost containment, strategic alignment, but to drive the post-school knowledge and skills development imperative much more decisively. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a period which challenges science to define its role and assume its place in our emerging nation. None of us will be persuaded of the utility of science to national growth and prosperity, but neither will we need to be reminded of its capacity to lend itself to destruction and repression. Whether knowledge is used for good or for evil depends on the goals to which we aspire and the decisions that we make as government, as scientists, and also as ordinary citizens. Therefore, these awards have a potential to play a critical role in the development of both science and the nation as a whole. And I'm pleased to be associated with the forum, uh, you, or the minister is actually pleased to be associated with the forum as patron of the awards. South Africa is a science sector that is growing in importance and also in science, but it will not grow fast and far enough unless we find ourselves more effective methods of interesting, capable school children in carving out careers in the sciences, in mathematics, in engineering, and also in established and emerging technologies. In this 2019-2020 financial year, our department supported 2,991 doctoral students and 8,632 pipeline students with buzzers. The targets of 84% of students supported at honors and master's levels are black South Africans and 61% are women. We're currently finalizing a new postgraduate funding policy that caters for full cost funding for financially needy students, particularly those who have been receiving the National Student Financial Aid Scheme 
funding at undergraduate level and who are academically deserving. The department will then review and ministerial guidelines on achieving equity in the distribution of bursaries to monitor the new targets for funding financially needy students, in addition to the targets for race, gender, and nationality of funded students. The introduction of full cost funding will only reduce the total number of students funded annually as from 2021-2022 financial year when it is introduced. Therefore, the total number of students that will be funded in the current financial year remains unaffected by this policy change. In 2019-2020, our department also enrolled 751 interns through the DSI NRF internship program. These interns were placed to, at host institutions throughout the country to be guided and trained by experienced, experienced mentors. In addition, 340 graduate youth volunteers were supported through the department's National Youth Service Program. Emerging researchers consist largely of postdoctoral fellows and early career researchers, from whom the NRF supports through various instruments. Ladies and gentlemen, we established the Tutuka Research Grant to provide support for emerging researchers in full-time, permanent, or fixed-term contract appointments at public universities and research institutions. As of the 2018-2019 financial year, a total of 562 Tutuka grant holders comprising 471 of 84%, 91 of 16% white, and 359 or 64% female were funded. While 358 students, which uh, is 85% black and 62% female, were supported through the Tutuka grant holders linked bazaars. The NRF complements the new generation of academic program or NGAP, an initiative by the Department of Higher Education and Training, which is aimed at renewing and changing the gender and race profile of the academic and teaching workforce. A total of 467 NGAP post, uh, post holders spending five annual call had been allocated by 2019. Was the DSI provides research development grant funding to NGAP post holders who are studying for their PhDs and beyond. We continue, and I'm proud to say, to expand the South African Chairs Research Initiative. The number of chairs grew from 238 to 246 in 2019 2020. Some of these were the result of fruitful collaborations with other government departments and international organizations and partnerships with business and public research institutions. These initiatives also play a key, key role in increasing the country's supervisory capacity. In 2019-2020, in over 2,000 postgraduate students and postdoctoral fellows benefited through supervision and provision of bursaries. As a department, we also contributed, uh, I mean, as a department, we also continue to contribute and support 14 centers of excellence hosted by various public universities. The centers of excellence have concentrated on existing capacity and resources for researchers to collaborate across disciplines on long-term projects that are locally relevant and internationally competitive. The proportion of black researchers supported increased from 40% in 2018 to 47% in 2019, while female representation increased from 39% to 45% in the same period. While there's been a gradual increase, more, more effort is required to transform the country's researcher workforce, and we remain committed to realizing this particular goal. We invested 1.498 billion in support for students, researchers, and interns in the 2019-20 financial year, with a projected total investment of 4.6 billion rand over the median term expenditure program. In 2020, 2021, these funds will support at least 9,300 pipeline honors and master students and 3,100 PhD students, 4,000 researchers and 550 interns. Our country needs need our country's need for rapid uh, expansion of its scientific and technological skills is quite immense. On your shoulders rest the challenges of giving science a face that inspires our youth to seek our science, engineering, and technology is part of that particular task. But it requires more. It also means orientating science in a practical and visible way 
towards helping meet basic needs. It means recognizing the intellectual challenge of applying knowledge to meeting such needs, rewarding achievements in that direction, and celebrating them with the highest honors. I therefore congratulate all the finalists in this year's uh, NSTF Awards. In the years since this prestigious event was inaugurated, competition has become progressively tougher to the point where selection as a finalist is a greater honor, recognizing an outstanding achievement. And I really wish to congratulate the brilliant students who will be recognized tonight being uh, first year students with outstanding results in science and mathematics in matric last year and studying in science related fields. I also congratulate uh, those schools and young achievers who have been selected to attend here tonight. Also want to recognize the valuable achievements of those who supervised and mentored young researchers. Finally, I have the honor to congratulate the winners here tonight. Your work inspires us. Your research has opened our eyes to a new way forward. You, you, you renew our faith in what is possible and what is doable. We all salute you and thank you very much for listening.